What a story. Two young women murdered while riding their bikes along a canal in Phoenix, Arizona. Somebody's somebody's, right? Their cases remain unsolved for decades until a prime suspect emerged, a man who dresses up as a zombie hunter. Bizarre. CBS's Peter Van Santen joins us live for a preview of his story upcoming on 48 Hours. Peter, tell us more about this suspect, Brian Miller. Why did he dress up as a zombie hunter? Well, Reed, bizarre is the word. Uh, he was a, a he was fascinated with horror films, and he hung out in the steampunk movement. These people mm. who who dress like they're back in the steam age, and he made this costume uh, with goggles, a metal helmet, this trench coat. He bought a, an old police yeah. cruiser and put uh, blood like on the outside of of the of the doors, uh, fake blood, and in the back seat you had a, a zombie mannequin that had this frightening look and he would drive around the streets of Phoenix. He was a huge hit at sci-fi conventions and at zombie walks in Phoenix. They sometimes get as many as 30,000 people taking part in that. Everyone wanted to line up and get a picture with the zombie hunter, not knowing that he was a vicious, horrible killer. And among those who loved to get pictures with him were cops and we have that in the hour who were quite embarrassed by all this. Such a fascinating story. And oftentimes these stories, the focus goes to the perpetrator. But tell us about the victims and why it took so long to zero in on this guy. Well, these were anonymous victims, uh, two different women who over the course of 10 months, beginning in 1993, 1992 rather, into 1993, they were attacked on the on these bike paths that run, run along the canals in, in Phoenix at night and there was no motive. They were horribly, horribly murdered. One was decapitated. Mm. Another one had been cut almost in half. It so shocked the Phoenix area. Um, people who used to use those paths uh, just stopped doing so. And it's still that way today. You can walk along there and no one is there. That's the impact of all of this. And it took forever because it was an anonymous killing. They had the DNA of the victim that technology didn't improve where they could actually do something with that until about 2014. Wow, and we remember that the victims are somebody's daughters. You see their photos. It is such a tragedy. Now we go to the court discussion. They really are going to have to have some strategy in his defense. Do you have any peek into that? Yeah, it's something I'd never seen before. So in opening statements, the lead defense attorney looks at the judge. This was a judge uh, trial, a bench trial, not a jury, and says the, the man who murdered those two women is my client sitting right over there. Wow. He did it, but he should not be held responsible because he has a mental condition where he has absolutely no memory whatsoever of these crimes. And they had a battle of experts, and this trial went on for more than six years months before the judge Miller made her decision. Well, and all the while, the victim's family members enduring those months added on top of all of the grief and pain. Thank you so much for this conversation. Peter Van Sant, you can see Peter's full report on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, right here on KPIX and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Be well, my friend.